Another method uses isometric dot paper. It might not be quite as useful for showing detailed dimensions, but it is easier for the viewer to visualize the object. To start drawing an object, let's first draw one cube so we can better visualize what our final drawing will look like. The bottom square will look like this. And then we can add all four corners going up to the top of the cube like this. With all of the sides of the cube being shown on dot paper, it can be really confusing. So we go back afterwards and erase any of the lines that you don't see on the original shape because they'd be on the back side. There, that makes our cube quite a bit more clear. Now to make a different object. We can stack three blocks on top of each other and then add one block on each side on the top. Now you can see how confusing it can get if you don't erase those extra lines. So we'll erase them and we'll add some color and we have a complete drawing. Another simple rule to keep in mind while you're drawing objects on isometric dot paper is that all lines that appear horizontal on the object will be diagonal on our drawing. Look how the line across the top of the figure is horizontal on the right side, and in our sketch on the left, it's diagonal.